What sort of question is this? I was training solving quadratic equations, but factoring does not work. Here we have the quadratic equation, x squared plus 7x minus 11 is equal to 0, and we are going to give our answers in decimals. So let's take a look. This quadratic equation, you are right, it's not factorable. So what do we do? We have two choices. One is to complete the square, and the other one is to use a formula. Complete the square is not a good idea, in my opinion, because this number is an odd number. So let's just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. And let me write this down here for you guys. So the formula says if we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the classic quadratic formula says x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the reason I said this is the classic quadratic formula is that you also have another version called the PQ formula. You can check that out in the description, but I'll write that down right here for you guys, just the formula. We will have x squared. As you can see, this is the classic one. You have a general number a, but if the a is equal to 1, then you can do the following. x squared plus here is the p, and then x plus here is the q. If this is what we have, then we can say the following. x equals negative p over 2 plus or minus square root of p over 2 squared and then minus q. So as you can see, this right here is simpler, but here's the thing though. Here, p is an odd number. So if you do p divided by 2 and then square, you end up with a fraction. Instead of the square root, this right here eh, might not be a good idea, in my opinion. You can try it, but let's just go with the classic quadratic formula. So I've done the proof on both of this. You can check that out in the description, but let me show you how to use this to, make, to solve that. So here we see that a is equal to 1, because yeah, this is meant to be 1x squared. Next, the 7 is the b. And then lastly, c is equal to negative 11. And then we can just throw in these numbers into this formula here. Have a look. x equals negative b, which is going to be negative 7. And then plus or minus, open the square root. And then we have b squared. b is 7, so we have 7. And put parentheses around it, and then square that. Be really careful for this part because sometimes if the b is a negative value, then you really need to use a parentheses to make sure you square that b value. And then continue, we have the minus 4. This minus 4 is from the formula, and then we multiply the a and c together. So a is 1 and c is negative 11. So multiply by 1 and multiply by negative 11. And then all over. 2 times a. So 2 times a is 1. Whew. Yeah, it's a lot of work already, right? So in order for us to use this formula, of course, you have to take some time, put, some, put in some effort to remember this formula, OK? And here, let's just go ahead and work this out. Firstly, we have negative 7. Good. And then we have the plus or minus. We will get two solutions in this case, both the plus or minus and open the square root. And now let's go ahead and figure this out. So perhaps let's write it down here. 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 11. Work this out, work of operations. We do the exponent here. 7 squared means 7 times 7. We have 49. And then minus, this is how I do it. Let's work out the sign first. Minus times positive is minus. Yeah? And then times one more, minus minus is uh, positive. And then I work on the numbers. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 11 is 44. Huh? Just like that. And now you can just add 49 plus 44, which will give us 93. And this is the number that goes inside of the square root, 93. And then all divided by 2 times 1, which is... 2. And now if you look at the square root of 93, 
mm, we cannot simplify it. Three goes into ninety three, right? You can just kind of break it down. This is just three times thirty one, right? Three goes into ninety three thirty one, and then that's it. We don't get any perfect square or anything, so you just leave it like that. Usually, though, you will just leave this as your answer. But since the question is asking us for the answer as decimals, then just take out a calculator and do the following. First, do negative seven with the plus and then square root of ninety three over two. When you enter this on your calculator, make sure you put a parentheses on the numerator. The entire parentheses right here, right? The entire numerator in the parentheses and then divide it by two. And this right here. Shall give you approximately one point three two one eight. Yeah, I wrote on the answer right here. But anyway, though, next x is equal to the one with minus, so negative seven minus square root of ninety three over two. And then you get a, your calculator. This right here is approximately negative eight point three two one eight. And there you have it. This right here is your first answer, and this right here is your second answer. Hopefully, this right here helps. That's it.